we're going to be talking about what Grassmann numbers are. Now, Grassmann numbers came up in order to study fermions. They're very cool numbers. So, the thing about fermions, you have two types of particles. You have bosons, which if you exchange the particle one, this particle two, for bosons, you can exchange them and the state is symmetric. So you can exchange two identical bosons with each other. Two bosons look the same. However, with fermions, that's not the case. If you, if you swap the first fermion and the second fermion, it picks up a minus sign, which results in a kind of repulsion between the fermions. Now, it's not a a force carrying repulsion or attraction is just because two fermions cannot occupy the same state, the Pauli exclusion principle. So that's why everything you see around us is made of matter. And you know, we could actually see it, we could touch it, because two fermions, two electrons cannot be in the same state. So how are we going to describe this? We can use Grassmann numbers, Grassmann variables, and these have cool properties. So, we're going to say two Grassmann numbers, let's just say these two, maybe one fermion, two fermion, the first fermion and the second fermion. If we swap them, they have to anti commute, that big of a minus sign. So now we could do some cool things. We could, uh, we could say, okay, let's just say we have two two particles, two of the same, we replicate the same particle, so it picks up a minus sign. So remember, two particles cannot be in the same state. And we can see it through this relation, so eta eta equals minus eta eta. So the only number eta eta, or consequently eta eta could be, is zero. So this relation is a zero. Now we could use this to define differentiation. So you have eta n, you define it as such. This equals 1 as normally. And then if we try to take the derivative with respect to the other fermion, or Grassmann number, I use a 0. Now we'll also see that this derivative operator anti-commutes as well. If you look at this, equals minus minus c. Now you take integration. We, have, we define integration as such. So now if you see, these have the remarkable property that you could swap differentiation for integration and get the same thing. So, very interesting. And then we could use this to talk about fermions. We could start describing quantum field theories using fermions. And it actually becomes more interesting because if we have a perturbed uh, term in the perturbation with, let's just say we have plus one, plus some term C, you know, just use A, eta, plus B, eta, eta, C, eta, eta. Well, you know, eta, eta equals zero. And this, consequently, also equals zero. Thank you.